Well, here we are at the Downtown Hollywood Dream Car Classic, Cobra Joe Productions. Joe Johnson, not Cobra Joe, here with jean vf Chappelle. Thank you for coming out, hey, by the way. Hey, thanks for having me. I mean, it's it's great to be here. I love the heat, so that's a plus. <laughs> the Miami I heat or the Florida do. heat? I, I love the Florida heat. I love the Miami heat. Um, yeah, it's, it's really neat because I've never been to Florida for a car show or a car event. Um, just by chance, I was supposed to actually do one uh, a few years ago. For a speed shop that was opening and I got sick so um, this is exciting and I would talk to a couple of my other colleagues like Dennis Gage and George Barris they had not been through here for a car show either so yeah so it's exciting it's great well you know what it's it's a scary thing with car shows in South Florida because around noon right. one o'clock we get these big thunderstorms yeah. in the summertime so you see the the owners of the cars going crazy trying to cover up their car but they stay they stay at they the do. shows right because they in California stay. one little sprinkle everyone's out of there Mm -hmm. So let's talk about cars and, and how it started for you because, look, okay. it's got to be a guy's dream to have a girlfriend who's into cars. Oh, I'm married. You, okay. <laughs> My girlfriend appreciates them, but she's happy to let me go do a car show yeah, by myself. Yeah. But uh, how did you get into cars? Do you have brothers growing up or what? Well, my grandma always collected cars. So from a young age, I knew that there was something special about it. Um, and so, I, you know, and I always would, like, I'd get excited cruising with her and people would give us the thumbs up. And that <laughs> was exciting. Fast forwarding, um, for about eight years, uh, I lived in um, a neighborhood in Los Angeles that was purely Hispanic. And so with that culture, they do a lot of low riders. And I mean, when I talk about like bringing home a rust bucket, these things were brought home from the junkyard, like salvage yards. And then within three years, it was like a piece of art. I mean, mm -hmm. hydraulics, you know, under the car lighting, um, chrome, like you can't believe. And so here I am for eight years with these garages that are open and they're coming home from work and they're working on them. And I would see that transformation and that was amazing to me. But little did I know I was also picking up a lot of like car lingo and mm -hmm. learning how to do things because, you know, we girls and guys would be hanging out watching, you know, and the guys loved it. But they would show us what they were doing, so I was also being educated at the same time. Mm -hmm. I never really planned on getting into the car industry, um, but it just it happened because I had a knowledge of cars. Well, you, it's great, and I, and I can see that you love it when I see I do. You on yeah. television. Yeah. And, you know, you mentioned the restoration. There are so many. It went from being like, you know, Dennis Gage is my classic car, which right. is one of my favorites. Now there's like 40 car shows on television about restoration yeah. and bringing the old junkers out and yeah. just collecting and buying and selling and the yeah. auctions of the Barrett Jacksons. Yeah. and the. So what are some of your favorite events? Obviously, car shows. Do you go to the yeah. auctions? Do you like to I bid? I do. I know you, you hosted I one, do. right? Yeah, yeah. I hosted um, an auction. Actually, I've hosted lots of auctions. Uh, Bottoms and Butterfields, which is very proper and prim in English. Um, outrageous cars. I mean, just cars you'll probably never see in your lifetime mm -hmm. and the money they pay for them. I've done Russo and Steel, Cruise International, Mecham. Mm -hmm. um, those are some of my favorite events, definitely, just because you see such a wide variety of cars. I mean, people always say, well, what's your favorite car? And it's like, oh, you know, it's, it's so hard. I'm a 50s girl. I love cars from the 50s because they're they're very curvy, so they have kind of a feminine, um, almost like a woman's figure, but also kind of a tough edge to them, you know, mm -hmm. and you can customize them and, and make them. I, those are my favorite. But I like muscle cars. I mean, I even like rat rods. But when you go to these auctions, you see such a huge variety of cars, and they all have a story. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's, that's my favorite. Talking to the people, why are you buying this car? Why are you selling this car? Um, Getting people's stories is amazing. You know, sometimes they, they're the baby boomers, mm -hmm. and it was a car that they always wanted, or it was a car that they they uh, met their girlfriend in, and now it's it's their wife, but they had a family and they had to sell it. And they will go to these auctions and look for that exact year, mm -hmm. make, and model, that exact color. And um, sometimes you'll see the wife with, like, watery eyes. And, I mean, it's just, you know, it's, it's it just touches your heart. And that's... But it's really all about the people, yeah. you know. I mean, you can tell I'm a people person. Um, the stories. And if you think about it, this is because people say, what's your favorite thing? Because, yes, the cars are wonderful. But everyone loves cars. Mm -hmm. So it really crosses, like, generations. It crosses whether it doesn't matter how much money you make, what color your skin is, where you're from. People love cars. So it really unites people when you come to these events and you meet people from all over the world and they all have a different story and they all like a certain car for a certain reason. 
I love that. Cars are like songs, actually. You know, when you hear an old song, you go, oh, it was in high school. And I yeah. remember. And, yeah. I, and when I see a car, especially one that I owned, and a, 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 I had a 71 Chevelle yeah. in high school, I'm always trying to rebuy it because at the time I sold it, it's like, uh, and I, I never could buy it again. But I'll, one of these days I will. Why but, did you uh, sell it? You know, you know, I'm going to get a story I'm going to tell now. you. Here's my story. <laughs> Gas was getting to be 80 cents a gallon. Right. And I said, there's no way I can afford this on $2 an hour. I wish I could have just put the car in my parents' garage and just set it away. I but, know. It's all But hindsight. I ended up, I bought a, a 69 Camaro, and I have a Jeep, and I have my Mustang. So I'm okay, but I'm not well, Jay you're Leno. all right. Have you met no, Jay? No, yes, yes. And have you yes. seen his collection? Did the whole tour. It's, it's, there's no words to describe it, yeah. especially the vintage bikes. Um I thought I had seen working the auctions over the years. I thought I'd seen every car that was out there. Yeah. Then you go to Jay's and you realize <laughs> that you have not. I mean, he has some, his collection's amazing. I do enjoy seeing him with Dennis on, on the show. Yeah. So I yeah. know you have some shows coming up and you can't tell us much about it, but what type of thing will you be involved in with your television um, program? So my shows aren't build shows, obviously. Um, we will be covering, one of our shows is going to be covering um designers and builders uh, anything from like people just starting out that mm -hmm. might like for example we just interviewed a girl who has a shop um and it's actually george barris's original shop okay and she has it now and she she's a pretty cool customizer um but she's just starting out so you're not going to see anything too too flashy but um then we go to Steve Strope, who's in the Valley with Pure Vision, and he does all the cars for Fast and Furious, um, a ton of movie cars. He just won, like, um, Ford's Car of the Year at SEMA. So all across the board. So that's one of the shows that we're doing. Mm -hmm. um, because, you know, there's a lot of names out there that you recognize. Chip Foose, mm -hmm, sure. um, you know, other ones like that. But there's also a lot of customizers and designers that you don't know about and they're just as interesting so we're going to be we're going to be showing the viewers that awesome yeah well i hope you come back and see us in hollywood i, I will mean, definitely be back it's the other hollywood a little more it humid than the, the hollywood, hollywood you live but in but i love it i love it and it's been great the people are great the cars are amazing um it's a perfect backdrop this downtown hollywood area so yeah invite your friends come maybe videotape an episode or a piece of an episode or something we're in talks about okay that. awesome yeah. well it's yeah. working thanks for having me you guys all right jean Chappelle, and uh, fantastic thanks for coming to the dream car classic